Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to update OnePlus phone from Android 11 to Android 13 directly. So as you might be aware, if you are planning to go back to stock ROM from a custom ROM or if you want to unbreak your OnePlus phone from the OnePlus 1 to the OnePlus 9 series and even the OnePlus Nord series, you have to flash the OSP firmware using the MSM tool. But regarding the MSM tool, the latest available firmware is for the Android 11 build only which is based on Oxygen OS 11 so at the very max you could update your phone to Android 11 as you could see from here currently I have flashed an OSP firmware and I am back to the Oxygen OS 11 so as of now I now want to go back to the latest Oxygen OS 13.1 firmware now there are two approaches that you could take either take the official method and simply keep on installing the OTA updates so as you could see Currently, I have got an Oxygen OS 11 update. You could also verify the same from the settings menu, then go to system, then go to system updates and you could keep on installing the updates and around after 4-5 updates later, you might get the Oxygen OS 13 updates or there exists a shortcut method as well using which you could directly update to the latest Android 13.1 or the latest Android 13 build. And in this video, I will show you how to do just that. So regarding this, there are two approaches. First off is the case where the bootloader is logged and in the second approach, the bootloader will be unlogged. I will highly recommend you to unlock the bootloader because if in case something goes wrong, you could easily flash the custom ROM and get back up and running. But still, the choice is all yours. You could still get this job done on a log bootloader as well. That's not a cause of concern. But if you were to take my opinion, I will recommend you to unlock the bootloader but if you don't want to do that, that's also well and good. So let me show you as of now, the bootloader on my phone is currently logged. And first off, I'll show you how to get this job done on a log bootloader itself. Some have also said that they were not able to unlock the bootloader on Oxygen OS 13. I've only seen a few reports of that. So to be on the safer side, you could unlock the bootloader right now itself. Or if you want, you could unlock the bootloader after installing the latest Android 13 build. So in this method, I will take a more complicated and risky approach and I will unlock the bootloader after installing the Android 13 build. If you want to unlock the bootloader right now, then you could directly skip to the end of the video or refer to my guide. So as of now, I will simply install and update my OnePlus phone to the latest Oxygen OS 13 build on a log bootloader. So with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, please take a backup of all the data on your phone just to be on the safer side. Once that is done, please install the Oxygen Updater app from Play Store. So let me show you the UI. This is the app. Go to the Play Store and install this app onto your phone. Once you have got this app, simply launch the app. Then you have to agree to the terms and condition and choose your phone and the region as well. Then tap on the next key. And now I will recommend you to choose the stable full method. By default, it will be set to incremental. I would recommend you to go for the stable full method, then choose the next key and now hit the check mark and with this we have set up the app and now you will get the latest build of this phone. In my case it's the OnePlus 8T and I have got the latest version 13.1 with the Ju July security pass as you could see from here. So guys just tap on download update and you will now have to give it access to the files. So select the Oxygen Updater app then enable the toggle next to allow access and now as soon as you go back the down again tap on download update and the downloading will now start in my case i've already done the download so let me show you the file name i have renamed the file so that it becomes easier to identify in your case the file might be named randomly that's not a cause of concern so just a minute let me show you the, the name of that file so this is the file name in my case. The file name does not matter. I have simply re rename it. So as of now, this is the latest Oxygen OS 13.1 build. And now currently, as you could see, just to show you once again, I am using a OnePlus 8T running the Android 11 build Oxygen OS 11. So now I will show you how to jump to the Oxygen OS 13.1 on a log bootloader. So the bootloader is currently logged. Let me show you that as well. So let me tap on the build number seven times and now go back then go to about phone or rather go to system now go to developer option and as you could see the oem unlocking is 
turned off and is showing allow the bootloader to be unlocked. So as of now, the bootloader is locked on my phone. So I will be doing the steps on a log bootloader. So with that said, you could now easily flash the latest Oxygen OS 13.1 firmware which you have got from the Oxygen Updater app. To carry out this task, you have to go to the settings menu. Then you have to go to system. Then go to system updates and tap on the settings icon. Now tap on local upgrade and select the firmware which we have just got from the app. So select it and now tap on install now and the update will now be installed. The entire process takes around 15 to 20 minutes and after that it will verify the update as well. So let's just wait for the time frame. So guys, as you could see, the flashing is now complete. So now just tap on reboot and your phone should now boot to the newly flashed Oxygen OS 13. In my case, it's 13.1. So whatever firmware you download from the Oxygen Updater app, your phone should now boot to that firmware version. In my case, the bootloader was still logged. However, I, as I have told you before, if you want, you may unlock the bootloader. It's completely up to you. In my case, it was logged. Moreover, the first boot up might take up some additional seconds. That's completely normal and nothing to worry about. From the subsequent boot up, it will not take that much longer. And if in your case you have unlocked the bootloader, then it will set up from scratch. In my case, I have not unlocked the bootloader. So the data will be still there in my case. So my phone should boot up in a matter of few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame and it could take around 15 to 20 seconds at the very max. So as you can see currently it's optimizing apps. Depending on the number of apps installed, it could take a few more seconds. And then we could move ahead with the next step. So it's currently on 94%, only a few more apps are left. And then we could proceed ahead. So after that, I will also show you how to unlock the bootloader. So my phone will now boot to the Oxygen OS 13.1, which is based on Android 13. And now I'll show you how to unlock the bootloader. So with this, as you could see, my phone has booted to the latest Oxygen OS 13.1. So let me go ahead with the setup screen and check mark the first two requirement. It's compulsory. And then tap on done. And with this, we are now on the latest Oxygen OS 13. As you could see from here, I will now show you the status as well. So it's just a First time delay from subsequent time you could easily access the OS in a matter of few seconds. So as of now, let's go to the settings menu and as you could see we are now on the latest Oxygen OS 13.1. Still let's go to about device, Oxygen OS and you could see currently there is no pending update and I'm on the latest 13.1 build. It's the same build which we have installed so let me show you on my PC. I had installed a build number which was just a minute as you could see it's kb2001 code name and then 13.10.580 13.10.580 so we have directly jumped from the oxygen os 11 all the way up to the oxygen os 13.1 in the same manner you might be able to update to oxygen os 14 in the near future for the oneplus 9 series as and when the update comes so guys on that note i round off the first half of the video and now if you want to unlock the bootloader you are free to do so. You could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done. Do keep in mind that unlocking is completely optional. And if you have flashed the firmware using MSM tool, then the bootloader will be automatically logged. So in that case, you, you will have to unlock the bootloader. There is no other way out. And for unlocking the bootloader, let me show you one important aspect. So all you have to do is simply go to the settings menu on your phone and make sure that you are currently online for the first time usage. Then from the settings menu, go to about device, then go to version and tap on build number seven times. You will get that you are now in developer mode. So go back again, go back, go to additional settings and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. Once that is done, tap on OK. Apart from that, 
Also check mark allow USB debugging. If you get an RC key fingerprint prompt, likewise make sure to select file transfer under the system UI prompt. So from here, choose file transfer, and with this, our phone is now enabled USB debugging, and you could now boot your phone to fast boot mode and unlock the bootloader using the fast boot flashing unlock command. I have explained everything on my guide, but still let me show you. So first off, download the platform tools on your PC. Then type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. And now you have to type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. Then type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. And your phone will now boot to the fast boot mode. I am again saying that this is completely optional and only do so if you want to root your phone or flash a custom ROM. Otherwise, you could remain on the stock logged bootloader as well. So as you can see currently, the device state has been shown as logged. So moreover, the process will wipe off all the data from your phone and it might make the warranty null and void as well. If that's well and good, then just type in fastboot, flashing, unlock and hit enter. You will get a prompt on your phone. Use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. And with this, it will now wipe off all the data from your phone, which will take around 8 to 10 seconds and then the bootloader will be unlocked. So let me show you that as well. So it's currently in the orange state and the currently our phone is undergoing a wipe. Once that is done, your phone will now boot to the OS and now the boot up could take up to 30 to 40 seconds. That's completely normal and nothing to worry about as our phone has undergone a reset. So we, we will have to set up our phone from scratch and the first boot up will take up some additional seconds and it's the one plus boot animation. So let's just wait for the time frame. In the meantime, just to repeat, if you are on a custom ROM or if your phone has undergone a break and you are using the MSM tool to flash the firmware. So in case of MSM tool, you will have to flash the OFP firmware. Let me show you. This is the o o OPS firmware. You see have to flash using the MSM tool, but the latest available firmware for MSM tool is Android 11. So at the very most, your phone will boot to Oxygen OS 11. You could then either keep on installing the OTA updates around 4 to 5 OTA updates to reach the latest Oxygen OS 13.1 firmware or you could simply update using the Oxygen Updater app as I have shown in this video. So let me first skip the initial setup screen and then I will show you the rest of the process. So let me select the region and the country from here. So let me choose the first two things and click on next. And let me skip this as of now. And let me accept the terms and condition and skip the rest of the stuffs. And my phone should now boot to the OS in a matter of few seconds. So with this, our phone is now booted to the OS and the bootloader is now unlocked. To verify the same, we could either use the fast boot mode or simply go to the developer option. So go to settings menu, then go to additional settings. And if you go to developer option. So for that, you will have to go to about device, then go to version and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now in developer mode. So again, go back, then go back, go to additional settings and go to developer option. And now as you could see, the booter is unlocked onto my phone and I could now proceed ahead and flash the firmware or any custom ROM or root my phone. So as I was saying, if you are currently on Oxygen OS 11 after flashing the MSM firmware, you could either install around 4 to 5 OTA updates to be on the latest o firmware or you could use the Oxygen Updater app to download the latest available build, which in my case was Oxygen OS 13.1 and then you could simply install the update from the local upgrade section of your phone and once that is done, just tap on reboot and your phone will then boot to the newly installed OS while you could easily carry out the entire process on a log bootloader as well. There is no need to unlock the bootloader, but to be on the safer side, I would recommend you to unlock the bootloader because if something goes wrong, you could easily flash the firmware from the fast boot mode itself. But still the ultimate decision lies in your hand and it's completely up to you. You could also unlock the bootloader after flashing the firmware and being on the Oxygen OS 13 firmware, which I have done in my video. So on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.